Ever notice those annoying little balls of fiber on your clothes? That's called pilling, and it's a common problem in the textile industry. These pills form on the surface of fabrics, usually after repeated wear and washing affecting both the appearance and durability of our clothes. But what exactly causes this nuisance? Several factors contribute to pilling. First, the type of fiber plays a role. Synthetic fibers like polyester and acrylic are more prone to pilling than natural ones because they are smoother and more slippery. Second, the weave construction matters. Knitted fabrics have more loose ends, making them more susceptible to pilling than woven fabrics. Friction or abrasion, especially in areas like elbows and knees, is another common cause. Even washing and drying your clothes on high heat can accelerate pilling. So, how do we combat this pesky problem? The answer lies in anti-pilling agents. There's an array of different anti-pilling agents on the market, each with its own pros and cons. First up, we have silicone-based agents. These are the cream of the crop when it comes to anti-pilling. They work by enveloping the fibers with a thin layer of silicone, reducing friction and making the fibers less likely to tangle. The downside? They're also the most expensive option. But if you're after top-notch performance, silicone-based agents are the way to go. Next in line are polyurethane-based agents. They're more wallet-friendly than their silicone counterparts, but they do come with a trade-off. Polyurethane-based agents function by forming a protective film on the surface of the fabric, helping shield the fibers from abrasion. They're not quite as effective as silicone-based agents, but they're a solid choice for those on a tighter budget. Last but not least, we have acrylic-based agents. These are the budget option of the anti-pilling world. They work by binding to the fibers, making them stronger and more resistant to abrasion. While they're the least effective of the three, they do offer some level of protection against pilling, making them a cost-effective choice for those looking to save a few pennies. So, how do these three compare in terms of effectiveness? Well, silicone-based agents come out on top, followed by polyurethane-based and then acrylic-based. But remember, effectiveness isn't the only factor to consider. Cost also plays a big role. Silicone-based agents may be the most effective, but they also come with the highest price tag. Polyurethane-based agents offer a middle ground, and acrylic-based agents are the least expensive. While some agents are more effective than others, the best choice ultimately depends on the specific needs and budget of the manufacturer. So whether you're a big-budget manufacturer, looking for the best of the best, or a smaller operation trying to stretch your dollars, there's an anti-pilling agent out there that's just right for you. Aside from their effectiveness and cost, anti-pilling agents can also be classified based on their chemistry. Now, there are two main categories we're going to focus on, cationic and non-ionic agents. Cationic agents are the ones that carry a positive charge. They are attracted to the negatively charged fibers of most fabrics. These agents are extremely effective in reducing the formation of those pesky little pills. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Cationic agents can cause fabrics to become slightly stiff and lose a bit of their drape. On the other hand, known ionic agents don't carry any charge. They get along with all types of fibers. While they may not be as effective in combating pilling as their cationic counterparts, they have their own advantage. Non-ionic agents don't affect the fabric's drape or stiffness. Choosing the right anti-pilling agent involves considering not just its effectiveness and cost, but also its impact on the fabric's characteristics. So why should textile manufacturers care about anti-pilling agents? Well, let's paint a picture. Imagine a customer's favorite sweater, worn and washed repeatedly, yet maintaining that fresh-off-the-rack look. That's the power of anti-pilling agents. These chemical warriors fight against the formation of those pesky fabric pills, preserving the original texture and appearance of the garment. Anti-pilling agents are more than just a luxury. They're a necessity in today's competitive textile industry. They enhance the quality of fabrics, making them more durable and resistant to wear and tear. This means a longer lifespan for garments and happier end users who can enjoy their favorite clothes for longer. These agents also play a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of synthetic fabrics, which are especially prone to pilling. 
By strengthening fibers and reducing friction, they ensure that even the most delicate of materials can withstand the test of time. In essence, anti-pilling agents are a small but significant part of ensuring that the clothes we wear stay looking new and fresh for as long as possible.